This moth isn't just swinging around, it's been bugged. Researchers at Cornell University can take control of its flight using electrodes implanted into its muscles. Here, signals are sent to its left flight muscle to make it lift that wing. Different signals can be sent for it to lower its wing, to lift both wings at once, or to make them flap. Increasing the frequency of the pulse makes the wings beat faster. If a signal is sent only to one side while the moth is flying, it will veer in that direction. Another group at the University of Michigan implanted electrodes into the brains of June beetles, close to neurons that control flight. A computer program in the device controls the beetle, and here it beats its wings and takes off when a negative voltage is sent to its brain. At the University of Arizona, researchers are putting moths in control and using them as a pair of eyes. They've found out how to intercept signals from their visual system and how to use them to make a robot move. Here, a graduate student demonstrates how the robot can be steered. Combining living and machine components could eventually make robotic systems more effective. Thank <laughs> you.